Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome to Puzzle Agent, a game by Telltale Games from 2010. And that's about all I know about this. Um, <laughs> I'm on a quest to play through pretty much all of Telltale's backlog on the channel. And this one was recommended to me by my good friend Terminally Nerdy. Um, he said he thinks I would enjoy this one, so this is the next one that we're going to do. Um, like I said, don't really know anything about this. It's a blind playthrough. We're going to play it and see what we think. Um, new game. There is also a Puzzle Agent 2. If I enjoy this one, I'll probably play Puzzle Agent 2 afterwards, but we shall see. I really don't know what to expect from this. The art style looks very interesting though, so we'll see. I believe it's got an array of different types of puzzles. Okay, wow, that went quick. Puzzle investigation. <laughs> Sharpen that pencil. Crossword. I've done a crossword for a long time. It's like a bit of a maze on whatever that box thing is on the wall. Gotta get those sweets in. It's like a fake Rubik's Cube on the top. Oh, no, it's bubblegum, I think. There's a lot of interesting stuff going on, actually, in the background. <laughs> no, I'm looking at it. Work is boring, apparently. What is that sound? Oh, is that like a robot or something? Oh, no, it's an astronaut. <laughs> that poster. <laughs> I don't know if there's any voice acting in this, or whether it's all, like, silent. <laughs> what happens that? It's a dream. Okay, it's a dream. <laughs> okay, cracked crossword. Nelson Tether's crossword puzzle has been ripped to bits, but is there something written on it? Reconstruct it to find out. Okay. Oh, uh, we don't want a hint. So we've got to reconstruct the... Okay, so this is like a... Okay, not... So it looks like maybe not inventory-based puzzles then. Um, it's like... Okay. Yeah, cool. Um, so it seems like there's maybe a different array of types of puzzles. Does that bit go here? that go there? No, maybe not. Maybe further across. Um, okay, those two bits are going to go together, aren't they? That bit's going to go there. Looks like that goes up. That goes there. Okay, that goes there. That goes there. And that goes there. What on earth does that say? Scoggins? Department of Case Process and Verification Submissions Processed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Accepted. No hints. No wrong answers. Top agent. How? Every piece is in its place. Well done. Okay, this is not what I expected, but I'm, I'm digging it. So is it a puzzle game with a story? Uh, puzzle research. Oh. This is Agent Tethers. I, I think you have the wrong number. Has voice acting. Oh, I see. A an assignment. In the field? No, no, sir. It's it's just it's been yes, quite some time. Uh huh. Erasers? The foundation of democracy? <laughs> oh, absolutely, sir. I agree, sir. I like oh, yes, the humor. The White House needs its erasers, sir. It does, yeah. I'll be on the next plane to... Wait, where? Welcome to Scoggins. Where the hell is Scoggins? Is that a real place? I like this, actually. Oh. 
Are we? No, okay, we're not in control. Who's this guy? Doesn't look too friendly, does he? Just arrived in Scoggins, Minnesota. Oh, Minnesota. Population, 754. Temperature, hmm. It's cold and not much to look at. <laughs> According to the agency, there's some kind of situ... Inc thing going on at the local eraser factory. The whole plant is shut down. There's a weird man staring at me. <laughs> Hopefully this won't be a big waste of time. <clears throat> Agent Tether's out. <sighs> I have no idea where my hotel is. I might have to ask for directions. Talk to the creepy man. I mean, th this is like it's 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 silly, isn't it? But I like it. Can we? Okay, we c can we move? We don't seem to be able to move weirdly. So can we only click on things? Yeah, Excuse me. I think so. I'm Nelson Tethers with the FBI's Department of Puzzle Research. Hello. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> and you are? Bjorn. 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 Yeah. Nice to meet you, Mr. Bjorn. Boy, those snowmobiles sure are a bumpy ride, eh? He is yeah. not one for small talk. I, I kind of appreciate that, though. Sometimes I'm not one for small talk. So let's ask about the hotel. Can you give me directions to the nearest hotel? I'm having a little trouble finding my way around. You'd never get there. Roads are too slick. Sir, I'm an agent of the FBI's Puzzle Research Division. <laughs> it can't be harder than the puzzles I see every day. Not so. It's really just a, a matter of trajection. Okay, on the way to the hotel, you're going to pass two traffic lights. Oh, directions and detours. Nelson's snowmobile is sliding along the roads. Arrange the logs to help Nelson bump his way to the hotel. Make sure to pass the traffic lights Bjorn mentioned along the way. Drag logs from the menu onto the game grid. A log can be dragged to any free space. Nelson's snowmobile will start off heading south. When it hits a log, it will bank right or left depending on the log's orientation. Uh, okay, so it looks like if you point it sort of this way. It's, it's like the in Broken Sword 4 we had the beams puzzle where you like bounce it off of things. Um, so yeah, to do that. Nelson must hit every stoplight on his way to the hotel. Okay. So we've got to hit all of the stoplights. So... Um, we could go like this way, this way, this way. Which, which, okay, which pieces do we have? So, can we like rotate them? We cannot. So, we could go down here, down here, um, down here, and then down here, and then that should take us there, right? So, we go down, through, down, through, down across what's the is the rules just yeah okay that's fine okay so this is like it is a puzzle game but it's like a variety of puzzles so far let's see if that works is the i'm guessing the question marks where we need to get to i think so taxpayer dollars spent <laughs> i like it Nice. Top agent. So I don't know if there's like achievements for getting like the best scores. I don't know if the puzzles are going to get more difficult. I'm assuming we're still in like a sort of a tutorial phase so the puzzles are going to be relatively easy. And we're back. <laughs> he did say we wouldn't make it. Um, I must have gotten lost. I thought your directions were taking me to the hotel. They did. Uh... The hotel's here, isn't it? I'm standing in front of the hotel, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, I like the humour. It's good. It's wacky. It's silly. All right, factory or suspicious people? Let's ask about suspicious people first, because that feels like plot advancement. Seen any suspicious people hanging around the hotel lately? He's going to say us. Yep. Really? Can you describe them? Skinny. Asks lots of questions. <laughs> There's a stupid hat. I like this. Thanks for the tip. Mm. Yep. 
We did ask. We did ask. I'm here to investigate an incident at the Scoggins Eraser Factory. Do you know anything about it? No. You sure? The hotel's going to close soon. Better check in if you're sneaking around. All right. Well, see you later. I don't think there's anything else we can do. Inspect the fence. Okay, so this must be the hotel then. There's a help wanted sign here. It, it doesn't seem like you can actually move. It seems like you just click on where you want to go and then interact with it. So you've got to inspect the fence. Discovered a fence. Boards all chewed up something terrible. <laughs> Could be the work of strays trying to get to the dumpsters back there. I don't know why I'm reporting this. Nah, yeah, I was going to say. It's like the Buzz Lightyear mission log thing, isn't it? Just got, just got to rate everything. Um, go inside the hotel. Why, why did we even inspect that? <laughs> so weird. Oh, hello. Gnomes. What's with the gnomes? <laughs> what is going on there? <laughs> what is this? Oh. Okay, so this is like our, uh, like, case file, I guess. Whoa, look at all those puzzles. Is that, like, the entire game, or is that just, like, the beginning? Um, so we're a passable puzzle solver. We haven't used any hints. We've sold two puzzles, and we've cost the taxpayer $151,000 already. Um, journal, entry one arrived in Scotland. Oh, okay, so this is... The journal is just, like, a written version of what he's recording on his thing. Do you know what? I, I think this is really good so far. It's not what I expected, but I'm enjoying it. Well, these are interesting. Yeah, those are Scoggins gnomes. All the tourists love them. But I think one has gone missing. I swear, I had six of them. I took a picture when I set it up, but I guess I lost it. I still have the film negative, though. Okay. Oh, okay. A ceramic gnome has disappeared from the hotel display, but which gnome? Identify the gnome in Martha's photo negative that doesn't appear in the display. Oh, God, okay. So the negative is going to be what? Like the opposite? D oh, okay. So we just click on the one. Can we click multiples? We cannot. All right. So, um, green with red legs and a red hat. That's, that's there, right? Uh, a red jacket. I mean, that's... Is that the one that's missing? I, I think that's it, isn't it? Because he's facing that way. Red jacket, green hat. He's facing to the left and his arms... Wait, is the negative opposite, though? I'm not sure if the negative would be opposite. Let's, ju let's just see. So it could be that one. Um, is there one that matches this description? Yes, there is. Is there one that matches this description? Yes, there is. So I think it's this one. Ah, oh, it's not. That's not the missing gnome. Look harder. Okay. So there's obviously more to this than we were thinking. Maybe it's because it's a negative. It's like opposites. Um... So, I mean, what would be the op Oh, yeah, it's, look, it's backwards. The writing's backwards. Okay, fine. So we're going to have to reverse it. So that makes it slightly more tricky. So if we got one with a red hat that's facing to the right, with his arms like that? Yes, we have. We know this one's in there. Have we got one that's facing to the left with his arms like that? Yes, we have. Have we got one with a green hat that's facing to the left? No, we haven't got that one, have we? Or have we? Hang on. So he's looking towards his flat arm. He's looking towards his raised arm, but the arm in question should be going the other way. So I think it's this one. I think it's this one. It's just so if we flip that round he's gonna have his left arm upright so I think it's that one uh, hang on I think so this is really confusing 
So do we spend more taxpayer dollars if we get it wrong? I'm guessing we do. Oh, it's not that one either. God, this is really messing with my head. Okay, so this one's looking to the right. Oh, I see. This one's looking to the right and towards his arm going down. So it's this one, isn't it? I think. Yeah, I think it's this one. <laughs> How many times are we going to get this wrong? <laughs> Just wasting taxpayer dollars. Oh my god! We're obviously missing something else here. Okay. So it's not this one, it's not this one, it's not this one. So it's got to be one of the red hat ones. So he would be looking to the right and looking at, up at his hand. So, him. Okay, so he's there. Um, he would be looking to the left and up at his hand. So he's there. And he would be looking to the left. Uh, and down is that one, isn't it? I wasted like a quarter of a million dollars on this. <laughs> Oh my god! Seriously! Why can I not figure this out? Okay, let's hang on, let's just... From the negative... I mean, does the negative switch the red and green around, though? I, I don't know if it would do. But I'm not really sure how a photo negative works. Um, I'm trying to think, would it... Would it... Like, flip the colours? I, I, I actually don't know. I don't know if it flips the like the red and the green. Whether they flip around on a... Oh god, this is really difficult. Um... I'm struggling a bit. This... So it's not that one. I mean, at this point, we may as well just try the ones we haven't tried, right? Which is this one and this one. So this guy would be looking to the left up at his hand, so I feel like he's there. And this guy would be looking to the right at his raised hand, and I feel like he's there. We're just going to have to guess. You guys are probably screaming at your screens right now. There we go. We are going to get some serious issues here with this. <laughs> Four wrong answers. <laughs> Alright, let's see if there's an explanation to this. The negative image is not only flipped, but the colours are inverted as well. That's what I wasn't taking into account. Alright, well, learnt something new today. It flips the colours. Well, one of your gnomes has most definitely run off. Oh my, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> All right, well, I'll tell you what, guys, we are out of time in this one. Um, <laughs> that was quite difficult, like, because obviously I didn't realise the colours were inverted, but I kind of like that there's a really, like, big variety of puzzles here, and some of them I'm going to struggle on, which is going to be a real challenge, and I'm really looking forward to it. So far, a very strong start to this game. I like the humour, I like the art style, I like the different puzzles. Um, can't wait to play more of this, actually. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldrich, Hobo, Numinous, Coumadin, Paul Leone, Flossie the Sheep, John Com 555 and Chrissy, and I'll see you next time.